Hi, my name's Aaron and welcome to a new video. This is part two of my do's and don'ts of piercings video. I posted part one last weekend. If you missed it, I will leave a link in the description. Same disclaimer, as I said last time, I am talking from personal experience. I don't want this to come across as me telling the story of other people's piercing experiences. And this is just what I've learned from what I've done to my body and my face and all that good shit. As always, please leave a like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and without further ado, let's just jump right into it because my last video was 12 minutes long and I don't want this one to be 12 minutes again. <laughs> I feel like it's good to start these videos with a very obvious thing. So tip number one, don't touch a fresh piercing. Don't twist it, don't wiggle it, don't poke it, don't itch it, don't just don't. A fresh piercing is kind of like an open wound, so it's going to go through a scabbing process and a healing process, and if you keep poking at it and wiggling it, and if you're taking off that scabby skin, it does look gross, but the piercing has to go through that healing process, otherwise it's just never going to heal. Just let the piercing do its thing, let it heal, don't pick off the scabs, and it's going to heal a lot quicker. It just depends on your body and how long piercings take to heal. So always keep that in mind as well. Number two, don't use Google as a definitive number of how long a piercing may take to heal. That might sound confusing, but let me give you an example. Let's say a conch piercing. If you Google conch piercing healing time, it says that it can take anywhere from three months to nine months to heal. In some people's cases, a conch piercing may take three to nine months to heal, but in other people's cases, myself included, it can take a lot longer. In my case in particular, my conch piercing took nearly a year and a half to heal, and that was also because I kept picking at the scabs, which, you know, relating back to tip number one, don't, don't touch it. Ugh. Google is just an example of a timeline of how long a piercing may take to heal, but everyone's body is different. Your piercing might take a lot longer to heal. Your piercing might be really, really quick to heal. It really just depends on your body. I hope that made sense. Number three, and don't call me out on this, I know. This is a counter argument to something that I have said before. So tip number three is don't use acrylic on a fresh piercing. On an older video, I said that acrylic is bad and that you shouldn't use it Ever. But since then I've done a bit of research and acrylic is okay as long as you just use it for a short period of time. In saying that, you still shouldn't use acrylic on a fresh piercing and you also shouldn't use acrylic as a taper if you're stretching your ears. But if your piercings are completely healed and you just want something fun and colourful for a night out and you change the piercings back the next day, then that should be fine. I'm still sticking by what I said, that acrylic is bad, but... In terms of stretching, if you have freshly stretched your ears, that is kind of classified as a fresh piercing, so it does go through a healing process again. If you have acrylic in, it might not be the best for that, because acrylic isn't smooth. Unlike steel or titanium, or maybe glass, not too sure with glass. Acrylic isn't a smooth material. I don't really know how to explain it any better than that. To recap my tangent, acrylic is okay, but don't use it for long periods of time. Number four, don't change your piercing through the healing stage. I think this is another one that's quite obvious. Your piercing is going through a healing stage. Keep it as the same jewellery. Just let it heal, just let it do its thing, and then after it's gone through the healing stage, change it as much as you want. But in saying that, if the piercing bar is really small, or if the ring isn't of like a good size diameter, and if you do need to upsize to let there be room for the swelling, in those cases, go to a professional and talk to them and see what they say. Because professional piercers have all the right tools to be able to change the piercing correctly and keep the area clean, because that's what they're trained to do. Be smart, be safe, just don't do it yourself. Number five, which is the biggest no-no of any piercing ever, 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 don't use harsh chemicals to clean it. The biggest two examples that everyone seems to remember is hydrogen peroxide and rubbing alcohol, but they are both extremely drying on the skin, and a fresh piercing needs moisture to be able to heal. 
not moisture, but you know, not dry. I'm not gonna lie, I have used hydrogen peroxide on a couple of my piercings in the past, and I was very lucky that it worked out for me at the time, but since then I have learned that hydrogen peroxide is really, really bad, and same as rubbing alcohol, now I don't use any of those on my piercings ever. Another one that people maybe don't think about too much would be antibacterial soap, which I use on my piercings now to clean them, but in the healing stage, it's not good because again, it's soap, which can dry out the skin if you use it too excessively. Don't use soap on a piercing. No, don't use soap on a fresh piercing. Sorry, I'll correct myself. <laughs> Number six, lucky last, and the most hypocritical thing I think I could ever say. Don't stretch your piercings if they're not ready. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, I fucking just said that. What are you gonna do? We all know that I know that I know that I know that I know I know. We all know that I know this and I still do it anyway and I fuck up my piercings every time. If you saw my helix stretching video or my con stretching video, you would know what I'm on about. If you didn't see them, I'll leave them in the description again. But yeah, stretching your piercing too early can really, really fuck it up. They swell, they get bumps, they hurt, you can't sleep on your side. The usual recommended time for earlobe stretching is anywhere between one to three months. And then for cartilage is anywhere from three months or longer, depending on the area and depending on the thickness of cartilage and all that kind of stuff. I could say the same about my septum, which I actually stretched once a month for three months to get it to this size. This is an eight gauge now. Um, Another video that I'll link in the description if you'd like to check it out. I was very, very lucky with how quick I was able to stretch my septum and I don't recommend anyone else doing it as quickly as I did because it could go really, really wrong. Just because I had good luck with stretching my septum really quickly doesn't mean that you would have the same luck. So just be careful when you're stretching piercings. Make sure that they're ready. Take it slow. Don't shove it through if it's not going through. Again, these are things that I'm saying that are extremely hypocritical. But you can learn from my mistakes. I don't actually plan on stretching my helix or my conch anymore anyway. Definitely learned from my mistakes there. And I hope you guys can as well. So I guess that's all for this video. I'm sorry that I didn't have as many tips as I did in the first one. If you have any other tips for do's and don'ts of piercings, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I might make a part three of this video sometime in the future. Who knows? But yeah, that's gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I say this all the time. You can also check out my body mod playlist up here, my music playlist, bubble in the middle if you'd like to subscribe. Speaking of subscribers, I would just like to say thank you for helping my channel hit 80 subscribers. Most people would normally celebrate hitting 100 subscribers, but 80 subscribers is still a mini milestone in and of itself. And I would just like to say thank you for all of the support. So yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye.